Hi, it's Yuris and welcome to Tattoo Shop Talk. And today we will take a look at Dragonhawk Archer Mass Tattoo Machine. This one is from Tattoo Supplier V Tattoo and we agreed with V Tattoo that there also will be a giveaway of this tattoo machine. So stick around for that. This is a pen style rotary tattoo machine intended to be worked with cartridges and it comes in at $189, which is very budget friendly price. And I will mention that price throughout video multiple times because when you compare it to other tattoo machines, you have to keep in mind at what cost it comes in. I have heard about this brand from people I work with and I also have seen many videos on YouTube where people say good words about tattoo machines from this brand. You can take a look at VTattoo webpage, the amount of machines that are produced by this brand is insane. And when I looked into it I got a bit overwhelmed and I sort of scrapped the idea. And then when VTattoo got in touch with me and offered to review this tattoo machine, my interest spiked back. A quick disclaimer, even the video says includes paid promotion, that's the button you have to click on YouTube even if the product is just given to you. All I got is this tattoo machine to review, no money have exchanged hands and I don't have to say anything good or bad about this tattoo machine. And on top of that we agreed with V Tattoo that one of you will have a chance to win this tattoo machine. Stick around to that and now let's get in a review and I will do my usual ups and downs and who this machine is for. Right away, I like it, it works for me perfect for what I use it for. There's a one confusing sort of design engineering solution that confused me first big time. And also there's a little confusing thing with gripping solutions for this tattoo machines. I will touch on that in the cons section later in this video. So let's start with the tattoo machine itself and the first question that many have does it tattoo good? And for me it worked perfect, especially at this price range, $189. I didn't expect much and this tattoo machine exceeded my expectations big time. How good of a work you can do with it, it's not the tattoo machine that does the work. I use it mainly for shading and coloring. For lining I don't use cartridge machines that much, be it this brand or another brand. For what I use it, it works perfect. I like it, like I said, shading, coloring for me. And if you look it up there are Plenty of people doing amazing stuff with this tattoo machine, be it lining, coloring, shading. For lining I wouldn't use it at all times, only when I feel confident about design or placement, basically when I feel like it. Let's get into it. This machine came pretty quick, it took a bit more than a week, considering that I'm located in Denmark and it comes in in this cool box. I like the design, it's this matte black with gold and the coolest part about this box is that it has magnets and I like magnets, check it out. Book, it snaps closed. When you open it up there's a little leaflet on one side, there's a bit of branding on other side, there's a little bit of instructions. First it confused me because it doesn't say much, but then when you work with it you realize that that's all you need to know, so less is more. Then in the box this part is where machine was, obviously it came with a little plasticky thing on the screen that you take off, we take out the tattoo machine and then there's a little bag with o-rings and allen keys if you need to change them down the line. Then there's USB-C cable up here, it's pretty okay length and thickness cable, obviously I wish it would be longer. And again $189 so don't expect much, this box is already too cool for that price range. And then in here there are two disposable grips. They come in in two sizes. They feel quite nice and grippy and they're long as well as the metal grip that's already on a machine. So this is what you get in a box. As for machine itself it weighs 186 grams and size wise it's 32 millimeters thickness and in length it's 132 millimeters. For comparison I will put next to it Bishop one with the battery pack. I would say size wise kind of like Bishop with battery pack minus the RCA connection. As for battery life, it says 8 hours on a web page. I haven't drained it completely because I don't do those long sessions. From reviews that I have watched, nobody had problems with it draining. On that note, at the back there's USB-C cable. It's designed the way if you plug it in, you can still work while being connected to cable. So battery life shouldn't be a problem, even if you run out or you're close to running out you can plug it in and work with the cable plugged in. And that's a pretty cool solution that not all pen style tattoo machines have. So that's a big plus for this brand. And again, at $189. And these disposable grips are compatible with this tattoo machine and they are originally from Mast Saber tattoo machine. When you switch it on it has a kickstart right out of the box, there's no option to switch it on and off. And that's not a problem, you can just hear it when it kicks in. 
It has the spike and then it evens out and runs smoothly. Controls are pretty simple. It's off once you press the power button, it switches on and it runs. Here we go. You switch it off the same way. And underneath there, there are buttons that adjust voltage. You can press it up and down by 0.1 increments or you can just hold it and make it run all the way up. It goes up to 12 volts. At 12 volts it gets a bit noisy and it vibrates a bit. The vibration first kind of feels strange in the hand, but once you work with it, once it's wrapped, it's absolutely no problem and you wouldn't work at 12 volts all the time anyway. It feels nice in a hand. I think that kickstart is really nice option because there are some harder cartridges out there that it's harder to move at lower voltages. Buttons feel that they are in the right place. It's easy to reach when you work with it. They feel kind of cheap to touch and yet at the same time they come out pretty far. So when it's packed, when you work with it, you can easily feel them and without looking know which button does what. And that's also nice and at this price range I wouldn't expect anything too fancy. When you switch it on screen is bright enough and digits are big enough to see what's happening and when it's running it cycles through these modes. It shows what voltage you own, it shows how much juice is left in the battery and it also shows minutes of work, how many minutes you are working. I'm not sure entirely when it resets but that option is there and it shows it so if you use it you can always see how many minutes did you work. When you leave it off for a longer time it resets to zero. I'm not sure about details on that part but the option is there if you want it use it and I'm sure you will figure out what's the little bits with it. As for grip when you adjust needle length it's the clicky one. It will not move by accident, it clips in and it stays at that position, which is also nice. And now how this machine sounds, because when you push the power button, it seems that it's kind of loud. So you can hear this. And this would be how it sounds at this distance from microphone. For comparison, I'll take Bishop Packer wand and I will set both machines at 8 volts. So now this one feels kind of loud. But once that kickstart peak drops, it sounds pretty normal. This is Bishop Packer Wand. This is Mast. And now let's switch both on. Mast, closer to microphone. Bishop, closer to microphone. Off, off, mast, bishop, and mast again. That kickstart makes it sound louder, but when it drops it sounds pretty much like any regular tattoo machine, which makes sound. Another comparison here, it's the Hulk at 8 volts. This one almost sounds louder and again, this one is $189, Bishop is like $600 plus the battery pack. These, I don't know how much they cost now, you can get them second hand for around $150, $200 but then the battery packs, therefore I mentioned that price, $189 is cheaper than this machine second hand or this grip just if you want to buy it new or even this battery on its own so at $189 you get all the jazz in one unit which is pretty cool and like I said the sound is reasonable and at that price that's nothing to complain about. Now vibration, I've seen in some videos people put machines on the surface and that's how they demonstrate how much they vibrate. So let's put Bishop Packer one, that's the expensive machine and let's put this mast on a box and see what they do. 8 volts, 8 volts. This is what's happening, the mast vibrates a bit more or at least it moves with vibration. Bishop Packer one seems a bit more stable. When you touch them they kind of feel same vibration wise, but if we look at the stuff, how they react on the surface, you see that this one moves a bit more. So vibration is there, but it's not like way more expensive machines don't have it. And on this note, I kind of now understand why people refer to these machines as like kind of 
adult toys so i see that there's a little bit of vibration and the looks of it some people might get confused and also that could be one of the reasons when people post on facebook the tattoo machines and they get removed by facebook so maybe facebook thinks that it, this is some sort of either adult toy or maybe i don't know a rocket arms or some sort of weaponry which is definitely not it's a tattoo machine and just for the interest let's drop this machine at 8 volts also on the surface and we'll see how that reacts it doesn't move but it definitely vibrates and it makes quite a bit of noise and now we're going back to the price 189 dollars nothing to complain about at that price if i have to compare it to any tattoo machine i would compare it to this one because it feels kind of the same vibration wise how it feels when you shade with it when you color with it when you do lines and again 189 dollars and that would be just one part of this tattoo machine why i'm mentioning this is just many people have worked with this type of tattoo machine so you know like if you work with this and you were fully satisfied now you know that this will feel pretty similar at fraction of price and it's built in with battery it's pen style machine and especially in some styles of tattooing you mainly see people using this type of tattoo machines that were previously using this type of tattoo machine so that's something to keep in mind if you need comparison what it feels like close to that would be that tattoo machine that i showed just before now i will quickly show you how i pack it and explain why i'll grab my favorite sticky plastic and these sheets that are perforated actually fit perfect i would align it with the top part of the two machine where the screen is and overlap it and fold the situation in that would be for the top part and then i would take a clip cord sleeve and pack bottom part cut it with a little bit of extra tape and slide it on and make sure you get it over the top parts packing so it's kind of this double layer type of situation tape this part down and then I would add a few layers of paper towels and some grip tape. And then just poke a hole for the cartridge needle. And why I pack it like this, so this part is separate and this part is separate when you need to adjust needle length. You're not fighting the plastic, it's just sliding over each other. And it's overlapping so there's less chance that something can get in there. And then the cartridge, I got also some cartridges from them. It's VJX, these are called acme cartridges i would assume that they are intended to be worked with this tattoo machine because they were sent for me and let's see how it fits in obviously with all the plastic around you want to be sure that it clips in completely bam bam it's in and you run it as for needle length you can get them out pretty far this is pretty insane And then the minimum distance is obviously the minimum distance. That's, I think, nobody cares about really too much, but you can adjust it a little to pretty far out. And when you break it down with this type of setup, this part would slide off pretty easily because it's not attached to anything. And this part comes off and you dispose it. And that gives you a bit of peace of mind because this was the part where it was overlapping so you feel more safe undoing it. Obviously wear gloves, use your clean hand, dirty hand or whatever method you use. If you know what you're doing you probably will not have no problems figuring it out. This is the way I pack it and unpack it. And now let's slide into weird stuff about this tattoo machine. First of all, it comes with these two disposable grips. What confused me, like they feel nice. First price of them, if you buy them, I think they come out, depends on what amount you buy. They turn out to be $3 per piece, which is not cheap for disposable grips. That's where those expensive brand grips come in usually. And what I'm used to seeing when you buy disposable grips, they usually come in packed in these sterile packages so you know it's sterile or, or at least clean. These came in just like that. I'm not sure if they come in like that when you buy bulk, but if the samples were just dropped in a box and they are exposed, I have kind of doubts of how clean they are. Obviously you can try to clean them and sanitize and use them that way and you would wrap them anyway. But at that price I would expect something like that. And actually for this type of tattoo machine if it costs $189 you buy like 6 boxes of disposable grips and it would cost as much as tattoo machine. As for this one it looks pretty smooth piece of metal that should be easy to clean and then you can just throw it in autoclave or whatever sterilization methods you use and it should be all good. Another thing I have noticed with more budget friendly tattoo machines they always come in 
covered in some sort of grease material. I'm not sure if it's a good or a bad thing because when you buy something like a Bishop or some of those expensive type of tattoo machines, you get tattoo machine and you get a pack of grease with you. So you have to put it on yourself. So maybe that's even a good thing that it's done for you. But if it bugs you, you can clean it off, sanitize it and use your own grease lube type of solution. And now when machine is exposed, I want to show you the engineering designing solution that confused me. And that would be this part where needle length gets adjusted. And first when I started to play with this machine, I did put the cartridge in and it's all good. It fits in there. It's all nice. In other tattoo machines, it would happen in a grip. While in this one, it happens actually in tattoo machine itself. Let me show you this way. That would be where cartridge fits in. And when you adjust the needle length, it would be this unit where it moves around and that adjusts needle length. First I was like, this solution doesn't make sense, all the cleaning and all that stuff. And then again, I looked back at this type of tattoo machine. And this is this complex grip where cartridge clips in there and you have no option even to take the cover part off. This in my mind makes more sense from terms of cleaning it and keeping things sanitized and clean and then there's this big brand tattoo machine that did use the same solution so first i kind of stressed about it and then i thought about it it has been done and it's still going on so don't let that confuse you no issues no troubles with it obviously in the future if anything will happen i will put that in a video description and at this point if you have anything to say about this design solution leave that in the comment section and now we will proceed to the part who is this machine for, who I would recommend it to try. First of all, budget-wise, if this is what you can afford, it's definitely not bad piece of tech for that price, $189. For people who wanna try the system, who wanna switch to this pen type machines, cause maybe you're tired of cables or you wanna try something new, it's not a risky price to try it. $189 and you get this tattoo machine that works with cartridges with built-in battery. I mentioned what I use it for, but people who have worked with this type machines will feel pretty much the same with this one. It's just in this nice pen format. So that would be another thing. Maybe you are still working with this type of machine and you want to try pen type, but you don't want to invest in that brand super expensive pen. You can try this one and then down the line decide. I think this one could be just enough for you. Obviously, if you want to upgrade to more expensive brands, save up and do it then. But just to try how it feels to work with pen style machines, this feels really nice in the hand. It's really comfortable to work and it works just fine. Or at least for what I use, I can't complain about any bit of it. Another type of tattooist who would be interested in trying this machine out would be the ones who already have the fancy machines but they need like a backup machine because you hear and read every now and then that any machine can break down at some point and when you are invested a lot of money you maybe don't want to invest again a lot of money this would be a fraction of investment of those expensive machines and you always have that backup so if your machine breaks down you send your expensive baby away for repairs and meanwhile you have this one to work with and maybe when you work with it you realize that you are spending too much on that expensive baby and you'll be fine with this one i'm not saying that it will happen but for some it might in this video we're talking about this particular tattoo machine go and jump on v tattoo webpage they have crazy amount of tattoo machines different sizes styles ergonomics shapes and whatnot check what they have. They also have cartridges. There's a variety of cartridges. There's disposable grips and there's all sorts of accessories for tattooing and the permanent makeup type of things. Check out what they have to offer. These tattoo machines come in variety of colors and also some different gradients. So if color matters for you, there's something to choose from. I chose red one because it's not too crazy of a color and if some dirt and contamination happens I can still see what's going on on this part. That's why I chose red color but there are some really nice and sexy colors on the page. Take a look there's all those purple gradients. Check that page out Vita 2 link is in the video description and if you are thinking about buying this machine then consider to use the link that I have in the description. It's affiliate link so if you use that link it will help the channel. If you don't want to use that link don't. 
As for cartridge needles, check their page, there's a plenty to choose from. And they are these nice skinny needles, kind of like this quadronesque look, the very pointy skinny bit at the end, they feel pretty stable and they work as you would expect cartridges to work. And now let's talk giveaway. So we are organizing this giveaway for professional tattoo artists who work in a tattoo shop or they have the professional tattoo situation going on. So please go down to the comment section, there's a pinned comment and underneath that one leave your Instagram handle and the shop where you work so we can check that you are actually legit tattoo artist working in a tattoo shop and you have a chance to win this tattoo machine. For anyone else, sorry, we're trying to promote this to professionals, yet you can go to webpage vtattoo and see what they have to offer. And like I mentioned a bunch of times in this video, $189, it's not crazy amount to invest and especially what you get for that money is pretty awesome. Check that out, all the links are in the video description. For giveaway, go to the comment section, see the top pin comment, leave your Instagram handle and the shop where you work and you have a chance to win this tattoo machine. We will choose the winner in four weeks after posting this video. The giveaway is from V2, so they will send that thing out. I hope our communication will be top notch and no one will be disappointed. And now you share your thoughts on this product. If you have used it, what your experience has been. If not, tell me what you think from watching this video. Go down in the comment section. If you're a professional tattooist, take part in the giveaway press likes if you want to spread the word about giveaway or just if you are an awesome person and you would like to share this video, do that and I will see you in a future episodes. Thank you very much for watching. Win this tattoo machine. Bye!